Okay, this is the second displacement versus time graph that uh, I asked you to do. We already went over the first one, so now let's go over this one. So it's east-west motion, and it's the first question says, during what time interval was the car going east? On a displacement versus time graph, the car goes east whenever the slope is positive. So this will be from zero to two seconds. And then again from seven seconds to nine and a half seconds. Okay, so that's when it's going east. During what car time interval was the car stopped? The car stopped whenever the line is horizontal. So from two seconds to four seconds. From six seconds to seven seconds. And from nine and a half seconds to 11 seconds. Okay. What was the velocity of the car at one second? Remember in a displacement versus time graph, if I ask you the velocity at one second, you want to find the slope. So pick two points. I would pick this upper end, which is two seconds and 15 meters, and this one, which is zero, zero. And so then you do the slope. So V is equal to 15 meters minus 0 meters over 2 seconds minus 0 seconds, which ends up being 15 over 2, or 7.5. So 7.5 meters per second ends up being positive, which means east. The next question says, what was the speed of the car at 1 second? It's exactly the same thing, just drop the direction. So you don't have to do any more new work. It's speed at a point is the, it is the, velocity at a point is the object's speed plus its direction. Now it wants to know average velocity in the first four seconds. So remember when it says at a particular time, you find the slope. But when it asks the average velocity over a period of time, that's when you use Vav is equal to delta D over delta T. It's asking for velocity, so this will be displacement. So what's its displacement in the first four seconds? 15 meters. So this will be 15 meters divided by four seconds. So you should get 3.75 meters per second. Works out to be positive, so east. When did this car start to go west? It actually started to go west two different times. At the four second point, and then again over here at the 11 second point. So put both of them down, right? Four seconds and 11 seconds. Started to go west, stopped, went east, stopped, started to go west again. What was the car's velocity at 5.5 seconds? Whenever it says that, it means find the slope. I would use this point up here, which is five seconds and zero meters. And I would use this point down here, 6 seconds and 20 meters. Um, avoid using points up here that line bends. Okay, so again, you're finding the slope. So V is going to be equal to, oops, that's minus 20. So negative 20 meters minus 0 over 6 seconds minus 5 seconds. On the top is negative 20, on the bottom is 1, so negative 20 meters per second, or 20 meters per second west. That's what the negative means. What is the speed of the car at 5.5 seconds? Just 20 meters per second. Drop the west, drop the negative, it's just looking for the speed. What was the car's displacement at 6 seconds? So at 6 seconds, you go down, hit the line, come across, negative 20. So the answer is 20 meters and it's negative, so west. What is the car's velocity? It's 7.6 seconds. That's on this line. So I would pick this point, which is 7 seconds and negative 20 meters, and I'd probably pick this point, which is 8 seconds and 0 meters. And again, you need to find the slope. So I would probably go 0 meters minus 20, whoops, minus a minus 20 meters over, start it with 0, so start with 8, 8 seconds minus 7 seconds. The top will become a positive, 
bottom is positive 1, you end up 20 meters per second. It's positive. It will be east. Displacement of the car for the whole trip. Take a look. It ends up back here. That means it's zero. It went 15 meters east. It stopped. It went 15 meters west. It went 20 meters west. It stopped. It went 20 meters east. It went 30 meters east. It stopped. It came back 30 meters west. The total displacement, zero meters. The total distance, have to add up that 15 and that 15 to be 30. This 20 is 50. This 20 is 70. This 30 is 100. And this 30 is 130. So the total distance traveled 130 meters. Average velocity for the trip. Remember, average velocity is displacement over time. And you just found the displacement a minute ago to be zero. So the velocity should also be zero. Average speed for the whole trip. Average speed is distance over time. You just found the distance a few minutes ago, 130 meters. And the whole trip was 14 seconds. So 130 meters divided by 14 seconds. It's going to be 9.286. 9.286 meters per second. It's speed, so you do not need a direction. Okay, so that's displacement versus time graphs. So to get the displacement, you read it off the side. To get the distance, you add up the different segments. If you're looking for speed or velocity at a time, then you're going to do the slope. If you're looking for average speed or average velocity over a period of time, you're going to do VAV. If you're looking for where it's traveling east, it will always be the positive slope. And when it's traveling west, will always be the negative slope. Okay, so hopefully these are starting to get clearer. I am now going to turn the page over. It's a velocity versus time graph. Um, and so if you didn't do this, stop the video and try it. And uh, actually, maybe I'll stop the video and start a new video just on this sheet. Okay, so if you didn't do this one, um, do it before you start the next video.